On today's show, did you know that a greyhound can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour in just six strides? And that it can cruise at close to its maximum speed for up to seven miles? Plus, that the bloodhound's sense of smell is a thousand times more powerful than a human's? And there are actually some border collies whose intelligence level compares with that of a young child. These dogs can perform some amazing tricks. Today's show is all about man's best friend, the dog, and some incredible facts about these animals we all love. Welcome to the fascinating world of animal science. Some dogs run for their owners. Others run for the competition. Whatever the reason, one thing is for sure. It comes naturally to them all. They are the runners. The race car of the dog world. Sleek and aerodynamic. Faster than a speeding bullet. Well, not that fast, but these are the fastest dogs on the planet. Meet the Greyhound. Throughout time, the Greyhound has been bred for one thing, speed. Known as the cheetah of the dog world, the Greyhound can run faster than any other dog. Its streamlined body makes it the ultimate canine athlete. Long, lean, with tremendous lung space and a huge heart, the Greyhound can reach blinding speeds of up to 40 miles per hour within its first six strides. No other land animal aside from the cheetah can accelerate that quickly. Greyhounds are very slim, but they have a huge amount of muscle. So they're very strong animals. They also have the largest heart of all the dog breeds. They've got the highest red blood cell count of any dog species as well. Amazingly, when a greyhound is running at full speed, its heart rate rises to 360 beats per minute, supplying its muscles with the oxygen required for high-speed sprinting. Compare that to a human whose heart rate averages about 180 beats per minute when sprinting. Put simply, the Greyhound is an engineering masterpiece. Here, we see a Greyhound running at full speed. Its powerful shoulders, long hamstrings, and flexible back and spine all work in tandem to produce maximum running performance. The sprinting gait of a Greyhound is called, get ready for this, the double suspension rotary gallop. You can see all four of its feet are off the ground at the same time. Unlike other sprinters like the cheetah, the Greyhound is also a distance runner. It can cruise at close to its maximum speed for up to seven miles. This means that while the cheetah would win in a sprint, the Greyhound would win in a longer race, leaving the cheetah panting in the dust. While the Greyhound is the fastest, the sled dog is the workhorse of the canine kingdom. One thing you may not know about the sled dog is that it's a genetic mutt. It derives its amazing endurance from the Husky and the Malamute, while its speed typically comes from other breeds, like the Pointer and Saluki. The average sled dog only weighs between 40 and 60 pounds. Its relatively light build allows for more efficient oxygen delivery to its heart, lungs, and muscles. This high-speed oxygen transportation system enables the sled dog to travel incredibly long distances without tiring. Sled dogs have also been endowed with tremendous strength. A 40-pound sled dog is capable of pulling close to 800 pounds. That's the equivalent of a 200-pound man pulling 4,000 pounds. With that kind of power, a 16-dog sled team is like a small freight train with 64 legs. Bigger teams have been known to pull buses and even help move houses. As you might imagine, 
sled dogs have huge appetites. While a normal pooch can get by on about 1,500 calories a day, a working sled dog must consume up to 10,000 calories per day. Now that's a lot of mush, but it's well-deserved. These super marathon dogs are some of the hardest working creatures in the entire animal kingdom. When we come back, you'll learn why a bloodhound's sense of smell is so accurate that it's even admissible in a court of law. Plus, how a German Shepherd has special muscles that control its ears like a radar dish. Right here on Animal Science. Mother Nature has endowed every creature with a specific set of talents needed for survival. Cheetahs possess great speed and agility, while bears typically display awesome power and strength. Certain canine breeds also have special abilities. We call them the Super Dogs. Compared to us humans, all dogs have an excellent sense of smell. But there's one breed that rises above the rest. Meet super dog number one, the bloodhound. Sometimes referred to as a nose with a dog attached, the bloodhound was bred to do one thing and one thing only, smell. They're used all over the world to help track down missing people and criminals. The bloodhound's entire body is built for scent tracking. Its long, floppy ears drag along the ground and help kick up odors into the air. The hound's famously wrinkled skin is used to trap these odors and funnel them to its secret weapon, its nose. When a bloodhound is tracking a scent, odors travel through the air into its large nasal cavity. Once inside, the smell is picked up by the hound's olfactory nerves. Chemical signals are then sent through the nerves to the olfactory lobe in the brain. The lobe processes the scent and miraculously creates an odor image. If you think about the number of scent receptors that humans have at about 5 million, the bloodhound has close to 300 million. It's similar in comparison to, let's say, a shark being able to detect a drop of blood in a huge body of water. The bloodhound has such a great sense of smell, they can smell things from distances that we can only imagine. The bloodhound is the only animal whose tracking testimony can be legally accepted as evidence in a court of law. Super sleuth of the canine world, the bloodhound. Another breed of dog, adept at sniffing out crime, is the German Shepherd. But there's more to this breed than meets the nose. While the Bloodhound is a specialty dog used for tracking, the German Shepherd is an all-around super breed. Got something? German Shepherds were originally bred to be herders of livestock, but what they found was the German Shepherd was actually multi-purpose. They could use them a lot for things like being a scent hound, a guard dog. The German Shepherd is one of the few breeds where a lot of effort has been put in to basically make this breed perfect. The German Shepherd's versatility yeah. makes it an ideal police and military oh, cool. dog. Trained canine German Shepherds use their wide range of talents to track criminals, sniff out illegal materials, search buildings, and do other jobs we humans can't. This is partly because the German Shepherd has superior ears. They're about eight times more sensitive than ours and can also detect a wider range of sound. The Shepherd even has 18 muscles that help control its ears like a radar dish to maximize reception. 
If the German Shepherd's acute senses aren't enough to do the job, it will use its impressive athletic talents. The muscular and athletic body of a German Shepherd allows it to sprint at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. That's about twice as fast as your average criminal. The German Shepherd subdues criminals using its powerful jaws, which clamp down with tremendous force. Up to 700 pounds of pressure per square inch. That's comparable to the bite of a lion. Whether it's sniffing out trouble, catching a criminal, or being a fearless protector, it's all in a day's work for this elite dog. Coming up, the mysteries of canine intelligence are revealed. And the age-old question, can you really teach an old dog new tricks, is answered. Right here on Animal Science. In humans, intelligence takes on many forms. But what exactly is intelligence? And how can it be measured in animals, like dogs? Welcome to the mystery of canine intelligence. Experts use three different categories to measure canine intelligence. The first is instinctive intelligence. This type of intelligence has to do with what the dog was bred for. Greyhounds were bred for speed, and bloodhounds were bred to follow scent. Believe it or not, these behaviors have little to do with training. They're instinctual, the result of thousands of years of selective breeding. One dog with high instinctive intelligence is the Newfoundland. Bred as a water rescue dog, the Newfoundland has an uncanny ability to sense when someone in the water needs help. Its instinct is to dive into the water, risking its own life to save its human companion. If the Newfoundland is the lifeguard of the dog kingdom, then the Border Collie is the mad genius. They have a high level of what's called adaptive intelligence. This means that their natural ability to solve problems is far superior to that of other breeds. Need it be shy. Shy. For reasons still unknown, the Border Collie's ability to learn words, go right, go left, distinguish objects, and perform tricks is incredible. In fact, the Border Collie's intelligence level has been compared to that of a young child. The final canine intelligence category has to do with how well a dog can follow commands. It's called obedient intelligence. Assistance dogs and police dogs typically score high in the obedient intelligence category. This is because all of them have a strong desire to please humans. Obedient dog breeds have no problem following commands like sit, stay, and play dead. Bang. This is what makes them such great working dogs. Take, for example, the gentle and loving Labrador Retriever. The Retriever's inborn need to please allows it to learn a variety of complex behaviors. Picking up a telephone. Yes! Opening a door. And even paying for items at a store. At the end of the day, dogs do rely on humans, but they also use their intelligence to manipulate humans and the world that surrounds them. So even though dog owners like to think they're in command, sometimes it may actually be the dog who's really in charge. When we come back, you'll hear a theory about canine evolution that will blow your mind. And could this cute little dog really share 99% of its DNA with a wolf? Find out next, right here on Animal Science. What exactly is it? 
that makes an animal truly wild. Why are we able to domesticate some species, but not others? And finally, what are the differences between a domestic animal and a wild animal? Next, we compare the dog and the wolf. Here we see a gray wolf, one of the world's top predators. It strikes fear in the hearts of animals and men. Here we see a chihuahua, cute as can be, the perfect family pet. But amazingly, this tiny creature shares 99% of its DNA with the wolf. In fact, all domestic dogs are directly descended from this fearsome predator. You can breed a wolf with a domestic dog and they can have a fertile offspring. Most scientists agree that dogs were first domesticated about 14,000 years ago. But the question still remains, exactly how were they domesticated? One of the more interesting theories states that humans didn't domesticate dogs at all. Instead, dogs domesticated themselves. They did so by scavenging on scraps of human food. Gradually, these dogs became accustomed to human contact, and their once inborn fear of humans turned into an inborn reliance. <laughs> Today, there are about 400 breeds of domestic dog, many of which look nothing like their wolf ancestors. Domestic dogs look so different from the wolf because they were all bred with a specific purpose in mind. It really doesn't take a lot to change certain characteristics in the dog. It might just be one or two different generations, and then all of a sudden you end up with a totally different breed. The wolf's survival depends on its ability to hunt large animals. For this reason, evolution has endowed it with a larger and more muscular body than the average dog. Wolves also tend to have longer legs than dogs. The long legs give them a longer stride, which enables them to run faster and for longer distances than your average pooch. There are also differences in the teeth. Most dogs, with their steady diet of kibble, have relatively weak molars. Wolves are frequently called upon to crush bone. Despite their obvious anatomical differences, dogs and wolves still remain remarkably similar from a genetic perspective. So the next time you come across a wolf, maybe treat it with a little more respect. For it is the great-grandfather, the closest living relative to man's best friend. Coming up, you'll meet a monster dog that was made to take down the wolf. Plus, you'll find out what this strange-looking pooch was really bred for, right here on Animal Science. With over 400 breeds and counting, the dog is more varied in size and shape than any other animal on the planet. This is because every dog was bred to perform its own unique job. These jobs shaped each breed's appearance. Take, for example, the enormous Irish Wolfhound. Standing nearly three feet high at the shoulder and weighing up to 180 pounds, this monster dog is one of the largest breeds in the world. Irish Wolfhounds were actually bred to take down wolves in Ireland before wolves went extinct in that area. They were a little bit of Greyhound, a little bit of Mastiff together to get this huge, strong, powerful dog. They even have that thick, wiry coat as a form of protection against the elements, but also as protection against whatever it is that they're hunting. At their core, all canines are predatory creatures. Get it! 
It may be hard to believe, but the cute little Jack Russell Terriers you see today were originally bred to dig up and kill rats in people's backyards. This is how they developed their small size and renowned quickness. The strange looking dachshund was also made for pest removal. Dachshunds were bred to basically pull out badgers from people's property. Even their name, Dachshund, is badger hound. So they were bred to be very small, low to the ground, but at the same time to retain a lot of their body strength and jaw strength to be able to grab the badger, pull it out, and kill it. Despite their natural killer instincts, most of the dogs we see today serve as lovable household pets. Each breed may have been made to perform certain tasks, but in the final analysis, every dog's true desire is to please its owner. It is this innate quality that has made the dog our most trusted ally in the animal kingdom. From Animal Science, see you next time.